stop it right now. Not the animal leg warmers. Oh my goodness. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It is that time of the year again, Pride Month. And so you know what that means, Target's Pride Collection. <laughs> Last year I styled their collection and y'all loved it so much because their tastes were just not on our level. And so I decided to do it again this year so let's see what we can find at Target, what atrocities they've committed and see if I, the fashionista that I am, can save them. If you are new to my channel and you want to see more LGBT plus content, especially for this Pride Month, be sure to go and click that subscribe button. But yes, without further ado, let's go to Target. Okay, besties, we have made it. We are going to infiltrate the Pride. Not the Lady Gaga and Demi Lovato. I'm not sure how I feel about that. These overalls have potential, but why does it say, I don't like, it's giving Forever 21 with like the random queen, yes. We have this top which is giving like grandmother that shops at Joanne's Fabrics. This shirt reminds me of the 80s. It's giving Eleven and Stranger Things, like that one scene. Here are some graphic tees. We got the pronouns, she, her, they, them, he, him, us. Okay, not sure what that means. Okay, what is this? Is this the bisexual? Come on, bisexuals. What is this the bisexual gang sign? Equal titty. Missing the T. The totes be you. Honestly, I might have some totes coming soon. Hint, hint for flawless Kevin merch. They have like little activewear sets or like loungewear sets, even like sleepwear sets. Oh my goodness, wait, these are kind of cute, right? For pajamas. Not the baby clothes. Oh my god. Wait, look at this one. My first parade. That is so cute. Stop it right now. Not the animal leg warmers. Oh my goodness. I will say I'm a little disappointed with the options just because they're all kind of just meh. I don't know, like last year's, they were like really ugly, which I think made it so much more fun. I will say, where is it? This is going to be the challenge for me. I think this is the ugliest thing that they have. No offense to the bisexuals. No, wait, is this gender fluid? I think this might be gender fluid, but I don't know if I can save this, but that will be the challenge of this video because last year's was like a rainbow suit. I honestly think this bralette is cute, but anyway, I'm going to narrow down what I have and envision in my head what I can actually style, what has potential, but huh, this year is gonna be a little tough. So the first piece that I got are these overalls and they have potential, but again, this right here is giving Forever 21. I don't know why brands put random sayings on things that are just so unnecessary and tacky. Like even down here, there's like a rainbow patch, which I don't mind, but um, I never wear overalls. I actually have a pair and I haven't worn it in forever. So I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. They had a pair of overalls last year for their pride collection. I didn't grab it because knowing me, like I don't really wear overalls and it's probably gonna make me look like a kid. This is giving yeehaw cowboy vibes. This has potential, I will say. I honestly would probably walk out looking like this with this crop top on. There's not much I could do. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe there could be. I mean, for what it is, it's just overalls, but uh, let's see how we can spice things up a bit. Okay, so I think the key here was to accessorize. Yes, I'm wearing the same top underneath, just because, I don't know, it goes along with the farmer boy vibes, and I think that's the vibe that I was going for. So for the accessories, I have this knitted crochet bucket hat, which I bought for the summertime for Hawaii, because I'm going there this summer, and I'm so excited. Added on this necklace, which has like some colors and the pearl detailings. It's giving like beachy farmer vibes. As for the shoes, okay, bitch. <gasps> I am obsessed with these platform rainbow sandals. It just adds like a nice pop of color and it ties in with the rainbow straps, it ties in with the colorful hat, but we have like a neutral top and like, I think it's giving. Added a little tote bag that has pronouns on it. How freaking cute is that? Um, but I'm giving like going to the beach, but LGBT. I ended up getting this little grid print rainbow top that's giving grandma vibes. But I thought it would be cute to kind of do like a Southern Belle look with it. I don't know, it just gives me like ranch Dorothy Wizard of Oz girl. Now this shirt, I don't know what it's giving. It's giving art teacher. It's just so bland to me, but I think that's the point. You want it to be wearable, but 
I'm going to spice it up and show you how this could actually be cute and you can wear it out to pride. Giddy up cowboy or girls. I went for a picnic theme vibe. Okay, look at how cute. I envisioned it being like tied up and like unbuttoned, like a nice little ranch dressing type of girl. Then a mini skirt. I have this bag that gives picnic basket vibes without it being an actual picnic basket. <gasps> Honestly, where's my hubby Kim Tae Young? We're going on a date. Of course, I had to put some type of like cowboy boots. These aren't necessarily cowboy, but they give off the vibe. But the white just like brightens up the look and it ties in with the white top and I like the pointed toe and it's just why don't you giddy up, giddy up. Ooh, honey. Of course, I had to get a graphic tee for those of you who are more of like a t-shirt type of person. I got this one that says trans rights are human rights. This one's actually pretty cute. It's tie-dye. I like the saying. Um, overall, I just got a size large. That way I can make it like a baggy, oversized street style vibe. So I think this is something that I actually would wear out like running errands. So this was a yes. It literally looks like I'm going to bed. What can I say? It's just an oversized t-shirt, but there's a lot that you could do with an oversized t-shirt, okay? You can dress it up, you can dress it down, masculine, feminine, all up to you and your heart's desire, boo. For those of you who are more masked, this is for you. I ended up going for a street style, boyish type of look, and so I wanted to change it up because I know some of y'all aren't as feminine in your style, and so I wanted to give you a variety. Of course, the statement is the trans rights or human rights t-shirt, and I just sized up for a large just so it has like an oversized feel to go with the baggy top I went with some baggy pants and these pants they're so freaking dope they have like a plaid back paneling and they're like a drawstring jogger situation I don't know I got them from Urban Outfitters so we got the baggy on baggy I added a black belt to tie with the black bucket hat to tie with the black and white sneakers and I added a little something something so I have this crossbody bag which is from off-white and I love the white and the black it really ties in with the accessories and the shoes and I don't know low-key giving Jungkook because you know duh I ended up getting the other button up and this is giving 80s vibes and I was like what is pride about the shapes and the designs and I was like oh the colors like this one's like the pan this one's the bi and so I guess the colors of the designs are of the bi and pan fly which hey bi's and pans this one gives me mask vibes okay it's giving like dad vibes and so this is your dad if he wanted to support you if you were bi or pan Next up, we have this 80s inspired top, which I can already envision a mask inspired look with this for those of you who have more of a masculine style. I don't know. I personally would not pick this out. I don't even know how I'm going to do this, but let's go. I am ready for Coachella. I'm actually really proud of this. I don't know how I pulled this off. This was not the outfit that I was envisioning when I got this top. Luckily for me, I have these denim shorts that kind of are in like the shade family. But anyway, even though this was like 80s dad, I, I don't know why, but I went for like a cowboy look. We have this bolo tie choker. We have this cowboy-esque belt. Heck, we even got black cowboy boots. Huzzah! These sunglasses are just so futuristic and they like juxtapose like the Western cowboy look. I found this pink bandana and I was like, wait, that ties in with the pink in like the pansexual pride in the shirts. I rarely wear head accessories just because I like my hair voluminous, but honestly, this just like makes sense to me. This might not be anyone's cup of tea, but I don't know, this makes sense to me and I am really proud of what I whipped up. I got another t-shirt, but this t-shirt is like genuinely just a weird fit. It's already oversized and like really boxy. It's like really boxy and also like cropped. So I have no idea how I'm gonna style this. I ended up just getting a small just because it was so boxy. Um, so I'm not sure if I wanted it to be like baggy or cropped because it's neither. We have another t-shirt, but this one's gonna be more of a challenge for me just because the fit is not like a regular t-shirt. Well, I guess so, but the way that it fits is supposed to be really boxy. Honestly, this is the outfit, you know? Done, I'm done. We can go and watch some movies now and grab some boba and just chill on the couch. But anyway, let's see what I can come up with. Okay, so does this outfit technically count? Because 
you can't even see the bisexual gang signs. I don't know, this shirt just fits so weird. Even right now it like looks weird because I tried tucking it under this dress, been just the sleeves, look at the sleeves. If it was like a tight fit, this would be perfect, but because it's so boxy, there's just so much fabric. Um, but I did find this dress that had the same like color on this shirt, and so I was like, okay, that could be cute. To juxtapose the girliness, I did have some chunky platform boots. They're just white with a black platform. Obsessed with them, gives them some height, gives them some edge. Now this bralette top, I think it's meant for like pajamas and like loungewear. I actually really like it. I don't have boobs, but you know what? It's okay. Um, Pride is all about inclusivity, but I think this could be worn out and about too if you wanted. Um, maybe you could throw something over it, but honestly, like not bad for Target. Not bad. Tay Tay, I'm ready for anime and chill. We have this loungewear set. It did come with a pair of underwear, but like I didn't want to obviously style that on YouTube because <laughs> demonetized. But this is a challenge because technically this is like loungewear. You're not supposed to wear it out. I mean, you can wear whatever you want out, but you know what I mean. Y'all, I am killing it over here. So I decided to make the top like the pop of color, okay? Like the statement piece. And I layered it all with like black pieces. That way it's more wearable for day to day. Like you wouldn't even know that this was like basically a pajama top. I just got this black leather vest from Topshop. I love that it's cropped. And I have this black bag that my friends got me for my birthday from Heaven, Marc Jacobs. These sunnies have like a yellow tinted lens. That way it like ties in with the colors in the top. Wearing these baggy skater jeans. And I'm also wearing my green Converse because if you notice, the black vest basically covers the green. And so if you wear that, okay, with the green, it's just like, is a continuation of the rainbow. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? And lastly, this is the ugliest thing that I saw there, in my opinion, and I just don't F with like tulle or just skirts like this because it gives like teacher wanting to be fun for the kids vibes. Not my style at all, would never wear anything like this, but you know what? Knowing me, I know I can make it look good. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Ah! And lastly, the best for last, or I guess in this case, the worst for last. This looks ridiculous on me. And you know me, I look good in a lot of things, but this, I don't know if there's any hope in saving this. It's giving art teacher, elementary school teacher, trying to be cute for the kids. If this is your style, good for you, but this is just not giving it for me. I want out of it. I don't want no part in this. Like a damn sociopath, I've lost my mind. I spent the night crying on the floor of my bathroom. But just so unaffected, I really don't get it. But I guess good for you. <gasps> good for you. I snapped. I don't, you don't need to tell me. Round of applause. Oh my goodness. I love this punk rock, Avril Lavigne, the Veronica's, Olivia Rodrigo vibe that I'm going for. It just, it's now giving. This is something I would wear to an Olivia Rodrigo concert, actually. I would walk out the door. And that's how you know I did a good job. I did update my hair and makeup just to match the vibe. It's so freaking cute. But anyway, we have a corset moment, okay? I did add this belt just so we could like <gasps> tighten everything up. But it adds to the rocker vibe as well. And these gloves, girl, Amazon is your best friend. I did pull up the skirt a little bit higher. That way it could be a bit more mini because you know me, I'm a whore. I love to show a bit more skin. As for the boots, they're my iconic naked wolf giant stomping on them homophobes boots. But yes, I just had a vision and I executed it. It came to life. Oh my goodness. Let me know which outfit was your favorite because I think this one would have to be my favorite. Alrighty, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, like this video up. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know which Pride outfit that I styled you would wear. I had so much fun with this. I have so much fun with it every year. Target still has yet to sponsor me. That's a little homophobic if you ask me, but maybe next year. If you want to see more Pride content from me, be sure to go and click the subscribe button down below. That way you can be notified of every single time I post. Also, be sure to go and follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. All that flawless, Kevin. That way you can see more Pride content from moi. But yes, I love you all so much. And remember, everyone, to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye!